peace and blessings, people. Peace and blessings. Assalamu alaikum. Shalom. What's good with it, Israel? What's good with my melanated peeps that scattered all over the four corners of this planet we call Earth? This is your boy, Ash and Karma. I bring that heat like I always do, man. I bring that heat early in the morning, evening, but except when I'm at the slavery, you know, I can't get on that phone like that. But I always bring it to you, man. So just please give me a like. Share, subscribe, like, share, subscribe, give a man an A for effort, you feel me? I love the subscribers, I love you all, because you motivate me, you want to keep on bringing that motherfucking heat every day. Every day. So like, share, subscribe, man. But let me, before, let me do a little house cleaning before I start cooking. Before I start cooking. House cleaning. And this this the particular, we're going to get into it. Copyright disclaimer under section 107 of the Copyright Act of 1976. Allowance is made for fair use for purposes of criticism, comment, news report, teaching, scholarship, and research. Fair use is used permitted by the copyright statute that might otherwise be infringing. Nonprofit, educational, or personal use tips to balance in favor of your fair use. So let's cook on it, man. I, I, I can recall. I can recall when Meghan Markle. Do that little wedding thing on TV. Oh my goodness, man. You couldn't tell sister shit. That's all I've seen on the timeline. Oh, I'm so happy for her. Ooh, she's married up. She's married up. This is what you sister said. We can go back on Facebook or Instagram, whatever meme y'all play. Y'all was capping like a motherfucker. You know what I'm saying? Almost like leaving a black man like, shh, marrying up. I'm not messing these niggas no more. I ain't messing these niggas no more. That's how, I, that's how the memes was feeling, you feel me? It's fucked up. Real fucked up, man. Made us feel like a certain type of way, man. Now, it comes out, you know, old girl have, old Megan have a fucked up ass interview with Oprah Winfrey. <laughs> Talking about all the hidden shit. But this is what y'all approved on. Oh, she's marrying up. She's marrying up. Now look at the shit. Now look at the shit. <laughs> I mean, it's some old fucked up shit, but man, I'm finna cook on this, man. I'm finna play this and, and my chime in and all that. It's crazy, though. As promised, Oprah Winfrey's tell-all interview with Meghan Markle included no shortage of revelations about what life was like as the Duchess of Sussex. One of the most upsetting things she shared was how the royal family handled the topic of race, specifically when Meghan became pregnant with her and Prince Harry's first child, Archie. Meghan said she learned through Prince Harry that members of the royal family had spoken to him and expressed concerns about whether or not their unborn baby would have dark skin. As she recounted to Oprah. Why are you concerned that the baby have dark skin? That's a dominant thing. Oh, you don't want to knock out the recessive. I understand. I understand. Oh my god, it's fucked up, man. But ooh, this is y'all royal family. This is what y'all wanted, remember? Oh, he she's marrying up. She's marrying up. There were, quote, concerns and conversations about how dark his skin might be when he was born. Megan clarified. <laughs> ah, that's what y'all wanted. That's what y'all wanted. I mean, I really want to see what y'all got to say about this, man, because y'all were capping harder. Now, for the sisters that was against it, rah, rah. Rah, rah, but we, the sisters that, uh, that was against it, we remember the sisters that was well for this shit that was capping. Now, look at the shit, sisters. That's crazy, ain't it? Fucking hy hypocrite, hypocrite, ain't it? Ooh. That no one spoke directly to her about the potential skin color of her baby to be. The conversations were between Harry and members of his family. Harry then relayed the conversations to Meghan. The couple also both refused to clarify who it was exactly that had made the comments to Harry in the first place. Oprah became visibly upset about this horrifying bombshell and asked Meghan to name the royal family members who had raised the issue of Archie's skin color. She declined. And and you're not going to tell me who had the conversation. I think that would be very damaging to them. The new book. Don't give a damn. Expose that shit. See. They won't throw our business out there like that, man. But. Woo. Yeah, man, I'm just, I'm just disappointed. 
men, we already knew what the business was. I'm sorry, we knew what the business was. I don't see, I didn't see any man or any man that was capping for this marriage. And oh, I'm so happy for her. Brothers like, all right, do you, but you know what's gonna happen. IJS, IJS, just saying. Finding Freedom, Harry and Meghan and the Making of a Modern Royal Family addresses the role that racism played in the British media's treatment of Meghan Markle. According to Harper's Bazaar, the palace refused to refute negative stories about Meghan the same way they did other members of the royal family. The outlet shared an excerpt from Finding Freedom. Traditionally, the palace has had no comment when it comes to rumors, but the Sussexes felt it wasn't afraid to bend the rules if it was to correct a story about higher-ranking family members. Members. Case in point, a spokesman went on the record in July 2019 to deny claims by a cosmetic clinic that Kate had had baby Botox. Harry and Meghan were frustrated by this approach. As reported by NBC News, the treatment of Meghan sent a loud and clear message to black Britons. Eniola Lodipo, a student at the London School of Economics, told the outlet that she didn't pay much attention to the royal family until Meghan became engaged to Harry. She recalled thinking how powerful powerful it would be to have a child of African descent in the monarchy. She told NBC News, This has been a very rude awakening. It reminded us that we shouldn't get too comfortable, and no matter how much we think we are accepted into society, we really aren't. There were those who felt as Oprah did and were shocked by the racist comments made by the royal family, but it appears there were more than a few members of the Twitterati who might have seen this one coming. One user wrote, uh, Of course. Of course. Motherfuckers use prophetic shit. I mean, you keep on repeating history, what's gonna happen? It's gonna repeat itself. Doing the same things over, it's gonna repeat itself, you feel me? Boy, this is crazy as hell, man. Crazy as cat shit, as uh, 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 Paul Mooney would say. The people in that house are old as hell, dating back all the way when slavery was still around. I absolutely positively believe that there were conversations about that baby's skin color. Another person pointed out that the idea that the royal family of Great Britain might have some racial biases is hardly a new one. They wrote, Everyone acting surprised that the royal family is racist, as if their entire existence isn't based in colonial exploitation and imperialist expansion. A third... This is what they care for. Oh, she's marrying up. She's marrying up. You feel me? Level up. Don't level down, girl. Now, nah, look. Like, share, subscribe. Like, share, subscribe. I'll holler to you later on. Peace.